<laughs> Welcome back. Um, so I wanted to talk a bit about overthinking and I wanted to talk about maybe about why um, I think overthinking is like a really useful tool and how I use it to kind of change um, how I think about things. I think overthinking is easy to think about as like a mindless thing or like a useful or like a useless thing um because your mind is just like thinking and your desire just wants to do that thing and your mind is kind of interfering with that and I feel like that's what makes people think overthinking is like a a hard thing or like a difficult thing or something that they're, they they resist but to be honest, I think that overthinking can be a really amazing tool for create for creative needs, for emotional needs, for getting grounded, for just new ideas. I think it started when I just like realized and loved how much like I love being in my head and how much yeah, it can be frustrating and annoying sometimes, but I think I learned to love that it was there and I learned to love that like I can use it to my fullest and I can use it to help me with my creativity and I can use the fact that I like like being in my head sometimes to my advantage. Um, I think easier said than done. Um, I think recently I've been in my own little bubble a lot and I've been like creating just for myself, like 100% just for me, not thinking about anybody else, not thinking about the outcome, not thinking about how it's gonna look. And I think f for me, um, I've tried to not listen to the overthinking but I think there are times when I really hone in on the overthinking and think why am I thinking so much about this like is there a reason like really like digging deeper um and just listening to that um and that if you feel like you're overthinking more about stuff then just trusting that because maybe it's happening for a reason um but yeah I think we shouldn't resist our overthought our overthinking because yes there are things that are mindless and that th there's things that are not useful and meditation can really help to calm those down and really help to like change those um but I think sometimes when you overthink sometimes your best ideas come and I think if you're thinking about things in a logical way then you are getting a good outcome as long as you're balancing it with your intuition I think you're getting a good outcome so I think if you're prone to overthinking just realize how useful it can be and realize that just put it to practice like maybe start with why am I overthinking ask yourself why ask yourself how I can change it if you want to change it or how can I implement it more into like boosting my boosting things that I already do like my creativity my um writing my like goals my like think how can I use my overthinking as a tool just you think of that and if you think of that that what I did is I started thinking about that and I've really used it in a different completely different way to how I did before I think after my awakening I realized it was a tool and I think that's a really strong and powerful thing um so yeah if you find yourself overthinking or in moments where you're thinking too much about something or you're not really sure why you are just trust it and like make sure that you kind of understand where it's coming from and understand how you can use it to move forward with like a creative project or with a creative idea or it doesn't even have to be about creativity it could just be anything that you feel drawn to how can your overthinking really help you because it means that you're being rational and there's a reason behind that maybe there's a rational rational approach towards your situation or maybe there's a really logical reason behind um, something you're trying to do whether it's something you're trying to create or something you're trying to like bring forth towards you there's probably a reason why you're thinking about it so much so just trust when you have those moments of overthinking and sometimes you can have like days of overthinking like sometimes it's not just moments like it can be days of overthinking where going with your intuition or going with the flow just isn't working so you start to rationalize you start to have this intellect and the thing is is intellect is such a powerful thing like I think wisdom and knowledge all comes from that like intellect part and I think if we listen to that um, it can be really useful I think it's just having that balance is the most important thing like listening to it but also not listening too much to it making sure you're still listening to your inner voice you're still listening to your inner guidance you're still listening to that that part of you that that 
is your true inner knowing because your mind can tell you loads of things and you've got to like decipher whether it's your ego or whether it's your whether it's your like true self telling you that um yeah I think it can just change however you view it and however you change your perception towards it um that's what I've learned anyway um so yeah thank you for listening um I'm going to do more of these like more frequently because I'm really, really enjoying them. Um, yeah. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>